Dan hey, Electro. Dan Electro. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm very good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is the Dan Electro Roebuck. Roebuck. Mm. Uh, this is part of their new series of pedals, which has come out. Thank you, Dan Electro, for sending us these. Uh, just so everybody knows, we will be sending these back. Uh, done. Yeah, but we might be buying some of them too because... Well, <laughs> yeah, this one's a classic really because um, this one is modelled off and I'll read directly from uh, the notes, the supplied notes. Mm. This is... Look closely at the boards of top LA and Nashville players and you will see uh, and you will see the 1990s Ibanez Mostortion or Mostortion. I call it the Mostortion. So yeah. I call it the Mostortion. <laughs> Uh, again and again. Dan Electro brings back this awesome pedal, nailing the original tone and grit, but also adding two tasty clipping options better than ever. Fantastic. Uh, I like it I like it already, and we've just set things on noon. Yeah, yeah, and it's the same with the fuzz we did as well from yeah. Dan Electro. The, um, just every, everything at 12 o'clock, it sounded magic. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. So what do we got? Uh, right, we have distortion, level, bass, mid, and treble. Now, the manual actually says it in switch position three. Mm. We're in switch position one at the moment. Mm. That's what the intro was that you heard. Yeah. Uh, switch position three is the Ibanez uh, Mostortion. The original Mostortion. Yeah. Mostortion. Okay. So but we'll, we'll give everyone a listen to that. Let's have a listen. <laughs> This is number two now. This is two. Yep. Yeah, a bit more girth. Three different settings. They all sound great. They do. Uh, number one has the least amount of gain, mm. uh, which is pretty cool. And it sounds a little bit. Uh, it feels a little bit different on, yeah. your, on your pick attack. Yeah, and yeah. It allows okay. you to, to throw a bit more into it. And you were talking about um, compression and stuff. Yeah, I thought that the, the original position in number three for the, the most torsion or the most torsion had a bit more compression to it. And uh, that position two, I think, had a bit more girth in the bottom end. A bit well, fatter. Oh, well, I'm going to leave it on number one and go through the gains yep. and flick over number two and go through the gain, number three, go through the gains. Cool. Play away, Maestro. Yeah, will do. Thank you. Playing along at home, uh, we're going straight into the Iridium uh, onto the Marshall setting. It's a little bit dirty um, in the 212 cap. More importantly, for those playing along at home, we're tuned down half a step. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we've been playing gigs and I sing everything in E flat because I'm getting old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, that's pretty awesome. Um, I, lo I like that. I like that. Now, like I was saying before, I had the, the Ibanez Super Metal, which had drive. Uh, volume and then three band EQ as well, oh, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. can get lots of tones, a variety of tones for distortion. There was that nice metallic blue one, wasn't it? No, it was green. It was sort of uh, lime green. Was the super metal? Ah, yeah, okay. And the moss distortion is blue. Okay, right. Yeah. Brilliant. I think so. I'll find a picture of one. Yeah. If it's on the screen right now while we're talking about it, you know I found <laughs> pictures of them. Um, right. I'm and just I know it's going to be on the screen right now because he will have found pictures <laughs> of it because I'm a bit <laughs> anal. Um, <laughs> So the manual also says that the three, um, the tone stack, the, the, the three EQ knobs are very, very responsive. Right. So I'm going to leave this pretty much wound out on number three. Yep. Oh. 
And I'm going to have a twiddle of the knobs while you twiddle play away. some awesome metal riffage. <laughs> Don't know about metal, we'll see how we go. <laughs> setting the less gainy one. I like the one too. Yeah. 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 Put that on. Oh yeah. It's got a really nice lumpiness to the clipping that I, I really like. It's not not invasive too, like if you can you, if it, that cleans up like that. And the iridium is a little bit crunchy as well. It is too, yeah. yeah. We're in the Marshall setting on that. And I've got a humbucker pushing into it. So, yeah. Awesome. Good. Like it. Dan Electro, Roebuck. These, um, these these aren't super budget pedals, but they're not expensive by any stretch of the imagination. So And they look retro. <laughs> yeah, they're all they? beat up. They look like old radios. They've been relicked a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I like the knobs look like old Bakelite. And ones on this one. really original knobs too. I've never seen knobs with big arrows on them, all dirty like that. It's good. Oh, yeah, it's good. Good job. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know if you like it. Hit subscribe, please. Yeah, thumbs up. Do that sort of thing. Mm. It all helps the channel a lot. That's awesome. Done. See you next time. Bye. Bye.